hello guys welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to solve question 7 of wasi 2020 elective mass paper 2. now we are asked to find the resultant force if three forces that is f1 24 newtons 120 degrees f2 18 newtons 240 degrees and f3 12 newtons 300 degrees if they act at a point now we are asked to find correct to two decimal places the magnitude of their resultant force so to solve this problem we need to have a graphical representation of the individual forces so from the graph you realize that f1 which is 24 newtons makes an angle of 120 degrees with a positive x-axis f2 which is 18 newtons makes an angle of 240 to the positive x-axis and the third one that is f3 12 newtons makes an angle of 300 degrees with the positive x-axis now to find the magnitude of their resultant force we need to first of all resolve the individual forces in their column vector form that is f1 f2 and f3 after which we sum them up to get the resultant force and then we can find the magnitude of their resultant force so to resolve these forces in the column vector form we have f1 that is 24 cos 120 degrees and then 24 sine 120 degrees now 24 cos 120 is the x component of f1 and 24 sine 120 is the y component of the force f1 24 cos 120 is negative 12 and 24 sine 120 is 12 root 3 so that is for f1 now for f2 f2 is 18 newtons 240 degrees so we have 18 cos 240 degrees and then 18 sine 240 degrees now 18 cos 240 is negative 9 and 18 sine 240 is negative 9 root 3 now for f3 f3 is going to be 12 cos 300 degrees and then 12 sine 300 degrees 12 cos 300 is 6 and then 12 sine 300 is negative 6 root 3 so these are the column vector forms of the individual forces f1 f2 and f3 so we need to find the resultant force now the resultant force is given by r equals f1 plus f2 plus f3 so we are going to sum these forces up now f1 was equal to negative 12 12 root 3 newtons f2 we had negative 9 negative 9 root 3 and then for f3 6 negative 6 root 3 so the resultant force is equal to negative 12 12 root 3 plus negative 9 negative 9 root 3 plus 6 negative 6 root 3 now negative 12 plus negative 9 plus 6 is negative 15 and 12 root 3 plus negative 9 root 3 
plus negative 6 root 3 is negative 3 root 3. So this is the resultant force. Now we are going to find the magnitude of the resultant force. So the magnitude of the resultant force is given by the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared. Now Rx is negative 15 and then Ry is negative 3 root 3. So we have negative 15 squared plus negative 3 root 3. Now negative 15 squared is 225 and negative 3 root 3 squared is 27. So 225 plus 27 is 252 and the square root of 252 is 15.8745 newtons. Now from the question, we are asked to leave our answer in two decimal places. So the answer is going to be 15.87 newtons. So that's it for today's video. If you like the content of this video, feel free to like, comment and share. Don't forget to subscribe to receive more interesting videos. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.